Welcome to Sunrise Sisters. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kate. And we're two runners who became friends quickly. We share advice, we laugh, and we're taking our runs off the road and into the studio. Are we going? All right, we're going. So I got some feedback from our listener, uh, our one listener. Um, oh, what did our listener say? She said, um, I saw her this morning. She said, please don't talk bad about yourself and please stop talking about going to jail. <gasps> oh, yeah. Do I do that? I don't think I do that a lot. I think you have talked about the reason that you run is so you don't kill people. Well, I mean, that's it. It's not like every single time I'm talking about going to jail. Well, although I think I I'd be not. good at it. You'd be great in jail. You'd learn how to make all those like special foods that they make out of the vending machine and the little squeeze packets of condiments. I, I guess that's what I do. I, you know, you don't realize what you talk about. Apparently, I talk about that an awful lot. I'll bring it up in therapy. I'll see where it goes. Obviously, there's some things I need to work through. And just don't go to jail. I, yeah. I hear you. I mean, trying. You know, hey, I believe in you and I'd be the first one to bail you out, just so you know. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. Speaking of taking things to extreme, I finished my run this morning and I can still smell it. There's smoke in the air and it, chances are someone's just, you know, burning leaves and sticks and stuff. I don't know. Is it burning season? Well, anyway, I, as as I do, assume that a house is burning down. So I ran up and down my street to try to figure out where the house was so I could go save the people. Everything is cool on my road, so we're all good. Mm. I looked for some smoke in the woods. I don't see anything. I can still smell the smoke, though, so I might have to do another lap around and just, you know, make sure I don't have to save anyone today. Maybe somebody else can save them, Kate, and you can let it go. I don't know about that. (laughs) (laughs) Too risky. Speaking about saving people, this has nothing to do with the next topic, but maybe (laughs) sometimes it's how do we save ourselves because you and I have to do the vacation and camp worst task, which is packing. Yeah. So I have Nate heading to camp on the Cape. You and I are both taking some time to go out of town. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, and I also had my trip, as I've talked about, I think packing has three different levels of complexity. Mm. There's camp, like maybe camp has some of this, but there's that you're just going away for like a weekend. You could throw anything in the bag. You could grab anything on your trip because you only need it for a couple of days. You can borrow it. Easy. Then there's the next level, which is what we're probably dealing with. Vacations camp. You have to make sure the person has everything. You want to make sure you have the things you need because you need added things. You typically maybe will bring food if you're going away to a place that you need to cook. Mm -hmm. You need to have all the sun stuff and the bathing suit stuff and the beach stuff and the pool stuff and the car stuff. How is this relaxing? This is this sounds exhausting. I don't mm. because it is. It is. (laughs) camp you have to have all the things and they Uh have a list and you have to check the list and you have to go by the list if you don't have the list i'm so stressed 90 percent of it they won't have like a raincoat and an umbrella in case it rains and then there's sweatshirts and jeans and t-shirts and and all of it's going to come home trash then i would say the overseas trip is the hardest because you start to freak out because you're leaving and you're going to a place where maybe you have access to typical things, but many things you would not have access to and would be more of an emergency, say a prescription, or Mm -hmm. you got to guess the weather and you usually have to bring way more than you think. If I did a green, you're going over a weekend, yellow, you got to kind of get ready, the whole family. And if you add people, it goes back up to red. If you add multiple people that you have to take care of, and then there's going overseas, I would say a work trip for me is like red. I think about it a month ahead of time and it makes me ill. How right. about you? Do you get well, nervous? What you, what you just described it then is that I have a green level packing trip coming up and I would categorize it as a code red for me, like a major code red. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what and, makes it a code red for you? Uh, I don't know. I'm putting it off. I got to do it today. I'm just, I'm, I'm today? Ready. Yeah. Well, I got to pack today, I think, because I'm not going to have time. I have three straight days of work and then leaving responsible for other people, which is hard. But if they don't care, if they wear the same shorts for four days in a row, it's fine. I don't care either. Um, that is the truth. You can send a kid to camp and 90% of the clothes don't get worn because yeah. they just wear the same thing. Yeah, and, it's that, disgusting. and you need to light it on 
fire. Right. It's absolutely disgusting. And they don't care though. Mm -mm. No. No. I mean, and if you think about it, honestly, you don't, you just wear your bathing suit to most of these summer vacations. You just wear one of two bathing suits every single day. You're right. You know what? Actually for our vacation, we're part of it. We're going tubing on the Pema Jawasset River in New Hampshire. Wait, what did you just say? I've always called it the Pema Jawasset. Is it J, not G? That's how I've said it. The Pemi. We could just call it the Pemi for short. I'm going on the Saco, also known as the Seiko River. (laughs) What are you, just a bad pronouncer of rivers? I guess so. I don't know. Are you doing tubing? Well, no one wants to do it, so I could tube myself. That's the other thing, vacations with people. Kids, want to, kids, teenagers don't want to go with you. They don't want to do what you do. You can't please everyone. That's a whole thing in and of itself. So I haven't quite figured out. I'm trying to plan each day. And of course, it'll probably all go in a completely different direction than I planned. I don't know. We'll see. I got to do that too. It's on my list. Well, I've got to pack all day today and get him some new stuff. And Are I you packing for him? So you're packing for him? I am because I don't trust him. Have you ever sent a kid up to pack and they say, I've got everything. You could give them a list. You could give them everything. And they're like, I got it. And then you get there and they're like, I don't have pajamas. I never brought my shorts. Right. I'm out of socks. And so I don't trust them. I make them lay it out and I'm going to say, do you have everything laid out? And I'm going to roll it up and put it in the bag. You know what you could do? You could do a list. You could say, here's the list. I created a list for you. Now, I want you to fall. <laughs> You're not- I'm going to cut you off right there and say, I have done that and still had one pair of underwear. <laughs> they are untrustworthy. It makes no sense. It is clear on a piece of paper <laughs> yet. And it's not been one time, Kate. It's been multiple times of going up for the weekend in New Hampshire and hearing, I don't have any underwear. <laughs> and you're thinking to yourself, how is that possible? I gave you a list. There's no answer for that. A lot, just of people, show up. a lot of people don't wear underwear, so that could be dealt with. So I think if you're a woman, not to get into a weird thing, you could probably get away with it in some regard. Hey, I, no, just, I mean, no, 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 no. Men can definitely get away with no underwear way easier than women. Are there needs serious? to be containment. There needs to be no. needs to be housed that in make- underwear. What? Everything in there needs to be housed or it's just wiggly piggly. Jeans without underwear? I think both are awful ideas, <laughs> but in the summer you could wear a skirt and you'd go fancy free. A guy? Uh-uh. They're in shorts. Wait. Things are going to hang through the shorts. <laughs> And that's a lot of hanging. Are you? They saying, can't sit. Are you they saying can't. you can wear a skirt without underwear? I, I can. I choose not to. I'm the biggest grandma underwear person we've, you've ever met. And you know that. No, I, I, feel- I don't wear anything unless I feel like I'm practically in a burlap sack. Like I need coverage. <laughs> Men though, they sit down once in shorts and your life is scarred pretty much forever. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We don't see eye to eye on that one. Ask one of your sons, ask your oldest son, would you ever go out in shorts without underwear and see what he says? All right, I'll ask. I'm just going to take an informal poll now of men versus women and see. I I think you're the minority on this one. I'm saying a woman can get away with it. I'm not saying it would be recommended, comfortable, or sanitary, or something your gynecologist would recommend (laughs) in any way, shape, or form. But you can get away with it. You could wear a skirt. Nobody's going to see what's happening. You cannot as a man. Or how about this? I don't want you to as a man. Do not do it. Big circle with a line through it. Big bed X. Don't do it. Nobody wants to see that. Sunrise Sisters would like to thank Sterling Lancaster Community Television, all of our friends on social media, our listeners. I'd like to thank Brooke Winsman for our fantastic logo. Thanks for listening. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kate, and thanks for running with us.